Ever applied for a high paying job and pass your job interview by winning your boss in the game of Go? Uh? Well, someone did it about 1,800 years ago in ancient China during the Three Kingdoms era. Oh wait, not this guy but this guy. Now before we continue, let me introduce his boss Sun Ce. Known as a little conqueror, Sun Ce has been portrayed in many media as a powerful warrior who's able to slay enemy general and minions alike, just like how you cut fruits in fruits and jars. Initially, he served as a general under the warlord Yuan Su and showed off his phenomenal commanding skill over his troops. Now, 你是怎么把他攻下来的？末将接到命令后，当天就率领五千轻骑，星夜兼程奔赴庐江。三天内纵横八百里，连续攻城八寨。陆康还没有来得及设伏，就已经被我攻下城池。He also has the charisma to gain powerful followers。我把所有的祖产跟田地全部换成了钱粮，得钱五万，钱来投奔你了。and he has the foresight to trade in the imperial seal, which is useless at that point of time, for four elite veteran, who eventually proved to be useful for his conquest in Jiangdong. Nyodoshangsha,我只要四个人。城普黄盖,韩当祖茂,其他人的,一盖不要。这四个人,不是令尊孙间的旧部吗?他们不只是先父的旧教,他们更是我孙策的书伯。城普黄盖,韩当祖
if you run this game through an AI, AI will suggest that uh, Black must defend the bottom left hand corner. This is the weakest group. But hey man, that's the ancient China race here. They don't want to play solid territory. They want to be fast and furious. So Black approach over here, seeking to invade the white's territory later on. So what will white do? Oh, that's a cool move. You know what? I'm going to copy you. I'm going to approach over here, just like how you attack my ship at the top left hand corner. Okay? All of a sudden, Rifan just feel like playing a solid game and he protects his territory with this move. Okay, double purpose move. He want to protect his territory and invade the white's territory over here at B6. So against B5, Sun Tse block at B6 and black defended at the top. You can see that Yu Fan's idea of Wei Qi is not just about attacking and expanding. It's more of a balanced game whereby he know when to defend his territory. Okay, it protects this stone and solidify the top territory. Then after this, white approached on the top right hand corner. Once again against this move, Sun Tse played a good move. Two space extension solidifying his position and applying pressure onto this stone. So Yu Fan played the same thing, two space extension, solidify my own position and apply pressure onto the bottom right hand corner. Okay. So instead of defending this immediately, white played an invasion over here. Black defended his line over here, trying to connect this, and then Sun Tse invaded on 3-3. Tree -tree. This is a very common move nowadays. Okay, it's surprising that people in the past can play such invasion just like how we play in modern games. Okay, so normally in modern games we will play this extension to destroy the tiger's mouth. This is a this shape is called the tiger's mouth. Okay, so if white play over here, this is called the tiger's mouth. So normally in modern games we will want to destroy this shape by playing a move over here. But if you play over here then uh there may be an invasion at the top over here later on in the game. So let's say if white play over here if black doesn't know about any card over here, he will just block over here. And this is a free move for the for the white stone. So against this move, black play a honey because he hate Q18 a lot. And after this, white get his corner for free. After the top right hand corner is settled down, Sun Tse kick these stones once, just like how he played the Joseki at the top right hand corner. Black extends and he play his normal Joseki. Yeah, the large knight's move. Okay. And once again, they played an invasion that's very common in modern games, this 3-3 tree -tree invasion. So if white blocks over here, which is in this case, uh, Sun Tse played this. Yeah, black is going to honey over here. This is an unblockable move, super powerful move, because if you try to block this, there is a card over here. If Sun Tse just connect this stone, then, then black will just get the whole entire corner by capturing this stone. Okay, so Sun Tse is left with no choice, he has to Atari this stone. If black extend over here, then he can connect this, aiming to capture this stone and aiming to extend over here. So if black protect this, then extension over here will kill the tree stone. So black has no choice, he has to capture this stone, he cannot penetrate through the white's territory anymore. Okay, and white get to defend over here right now and he protects his territory. Right now, black invaded over here. This is not a very good move over here. It helps white to solidify his territory. Okay, so you have to retreat and this is going to be a sente for the white stone. So if you waste your stone over here and don't get much points, then white is going to play a very powerful next move, which is an invasion over here. So Logically, black has to defend his position over here, somewhere around here, to defend his territory. But this is, uh, I have no idea why he want to play here. Okay, and white's next move is even more astonishing. He defended over here, allowing black to retreat and create a cut point in his own line. This is a horrible move played by the white stone. Okay, and after this, white seeks to expand his territory. For some reason, Sun Tse just loves to expand his territory in a very fast manner. He don't bother with invasion, he just want to expand his territory. And then last move, he's expand over here. Okay, the recorded game stops over here. There's only 43 moves in the entire recorded games. So based on this game, we can see how the little conqueror play Wei Qi. He just want to expand, expand, and expand. Just like how he conquered territories in the Jiangdong region. So maybe 
this tells us about his overly ambitious characteristic. While Ryu Fan, he play a more balanced game, whereby he know when to defend his territory, he know when to invade, and he know when to expand his territory. So maybe because of this, Sun Tzu offered Ryu Fan a position to be one of his retainers. Ryu Fan later on proved to be very useful to the Sun Tzu's army.